This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skillshare allows you to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired during this pandemic and the state of the world right now. Currently, I'm on my second month free trial of Skillshare. So I've been able to look around and see more of what they have to offer. Trust me when I say they have classes for everyone. From animation to web development and everything in between. I mentioned in a previous video that I'd be taking some interior decorating classes. So I decided to start out with interior design basics, simple steps to your perfect space, taught by Lauren Cox. After only taking one lesson, I can tell that she loves what she does and she knows what she's talking about. So I'm really excited about this class. And then from there, I'll be moving on to interior design, interior decorate like a boss. Now, who wouldn't want to learn how to decorate like a boss? Skillshare believes a strong community is essential in times of hardship. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who can provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. And here's a few other classes that some of you may be interested in taking. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box below will get a two-month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Okay, to get started, I'll be using this square mold that I purchased from Amazon, and I'll link it below, and I'll also leave the dimensions as well. I'm also using the amazing clear cast resin again. I purchased it from Michaels. So whenever you use this resin, you have to mix equal parts of A and B. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not sure how much I poured into each cup, but I think it was about 10 milliliters in each cup. I pour such a small amount because I don't want to pour too much. You can always add if you don't have enough. And the reason is you want that first layer to be really thin. Mix part A with part B and then mix really well for like a minute. When you're done mixing the resin together, it should be really clear just like this. Next, I pour the resin into my mold and then use a popsicle stick to smooth it out evenly. All right, so while we're allowing our Mod Podge to dry, let's get to working on our image. And you guys know this image. I have these images available on my Facebook page and while you're over there, make sure you go ahead and join. Um, it'll actually have six on there instead of the four, so you'll be able to print this out on a regular 8x10 um, sheet of paper. I'm going to paint my image to match the wall art that I did in a previous DIY. And I'll be using this gold metallic acrylic paint to paint her skin. Okay, to save on time off camera, I went ahead and painted her dress blue. Now there's no need to paint the hat or the band around the hat because I'll be coming in with some silver and black glitter for those. I also trimmed her out with more black paint, color her lips red. Next, I'll cut her out and then add the glitter. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now all you wanna do is go over all your colors with glitter, have some Mod Podge. To add the glitter is really simple. Just brush the Mod Podge on the space that you want to color with the glitter and then sprinkle the glitter on top. Sprinkle that on and you'll see if you have any little places that you missed.
Let that dry, come back in with some black. All right, I'll come back in and do her lips and we'll be done with her. Okay, moving right along. I allow the resin to set up for about six hours. So it's still slightly tacky. And I want it to be that way because it'll help hold my bling in place when I put it inside the mold. And here's the second mold that I'm working on. These are the buildings that I'll duplicate in the other mold. Here I'll show you how to use mesh bling and mirror towels to create the buildings for my skyline. All right, so we have one that goes here. On the very end, I have two, this is mirror towel. Um, when you get ready to put it in place, you will remove the, um, the back off. And I just laid that there. And that's gonna go on top. It's very simple, all right? Then the very next building, I have four rows of bling, and it goes right here. The next one, but I want this building to look a little different, so I want to make it make a peek at the top of the building. So next one, I'll go three pieces of bling, then two, then I use two more to make an antenna. And right there. And here's my completed cityscape. Now remember if you don't have mirror towels, you can create your entire skyline using bling wrap. Also you can use different kinds of bling to decorate your background. I use this, I call it box bling. And you'll see it in my coaster at the end of the video. Now once you get your skyline mapped out, you want to take a picture of it because you'll need to remove it. And the reason for that is because you want to coat it with some Mod Podge. Now when resin starts to cure, it heats up and you don't want it to tarnish your cityscape. So that's the reason I'm going to remove it and coat it. Well first of all, I'll clean it and then coat it with some Mod Podge to prevent that from happening. You can use a liquid Mod Podge or the Mod Podge spray. I'm going to use the spray because it's a whole lot easier for me. So, Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I'm done spray painting my pieces, my buildings that's going to go inside my coaster. So what I want to do is put everything together. I actually have two. So the first thing I want to do is remove, remove the tape from the back of the mirror. This one goes here. After I was done putting my skyline in place, I put the mold on top of a picture frame because I'm going to move this to a different area. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you move it to somewhere where there's plenty of fresh air. So all I did was apply one layer of resin over the entire skyline. Now when you're done pouring the resin, you may notice a few pieces out of place. So you'll need to put those back in place immediately and then check them periodically while it's curing. Okay, so I'm done putting everything back in place. Again, I'll put this aside to let it set up and check it periodically to make sure that everything's still in place. If not, then I'll use this tool to put it back in place. This is what it looks like after the resin has settled. It's covered everything. I had to actually check it a few times and I had to actually just go in and check periodically to make sure that everything stayed in place. So this is what it looks like. Next, I mixed more resin, poured it in, and then inserted my image. I inserted the image at an angle to try and cover the image with the resin as I set it down. I then used a popsicle stick to cover the image with the resin. Now while doing this, I took my time because I didn't want to make too many bubbles. But if I did, I could always use like a blow dryer or some type of lighter to break the bubbles. Now, just like before, I'll have to check my image periodically to make sure that it stays in place as well. This time around, I let my coaster cure for about three hours 
Now I'm pouring in my final layer of resin. Here I'm just making sure that the resin is evenly distributed across the mold. And then once that's done, again, I'll move it to a different area and let it dry completely. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention, each time you use your resin, make sure that you cover it with something. I have like a large bowl that I purchased from Dollar Tree, and I do that to prevent any debris from falling into my resin. After the resin completely set, I'll come back and let you see what they both look like. Okay, before we move on to the other coaster, I want to show you what happened with this one. This one I thought was completely cured, and there was a scarf laying next to it on the table. And when I moved the scarf, it draped across the resin and made this indentation, and I had no idea. I'm not going to worry because I'll be able to fix it by applying a really thin layer of resin, and that'll smooth it out completely. Now, this is the very first coaster that I made. And as you can see, the lady is a whole lot larger than the one you saw in the DIY. So I'm going to do more on this scale. I like the size of her here more. So I'm going to do more like this and I'll design the buildings the same way that I did in this DIY. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. I know it's been a long time coming and I apologize for that. I hope that you all enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Don't forget to comment below and share. All right, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video.